is. That's a good one. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's too dark. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Whistling Waters Outdoors. Doing things a good bit different today, and uh, I got a real blurry, blurry lens going on. What do we got going here? What's going on? There we go. There we go. There we go. Anyways, we are doing it different today. We are headed down to. Uh, Headed down to go out to the oil rigs. Going to the oil rigs, going to chase a few uh, sheephead. Um, hopefully I can get into some nice ones. You know, I hadn't really had much luck. I uh, went out yesterday and I got that one tiny, tiny, tiny little guy. Uh, he was about nine and a half inches, which just does me absolutely nothing. Well, I take that back. It's only the second one I've ever caught out of my kayak. It was the first I've ever caught out of my PA, so that was cool. But. Um, I'm hoping I can go get on some keepers and meeting up with my buddy TJ Bussy down here right now. Um, we're going to give it a try. Uh, hopefully the wind doesn't run us off the water. I know this can get, this can be a really rough spot. Um, the wind, wind seems really nice right now. It's a uh, slick calm out in Little Lagoon and everything. So hopefully we'll be able to do pretty good. But um, yeah, but we'll see what happens. If we can't get in there, we're gonna end up uh, probably going to the creeks, chasing some redfish, just since we drove all the way down here. But we're gonna make something happen one way or the other. So y'all stick with us and we will jump into the action in a three, a two, a one, a now. to the water now. Um, oh, I like something. Super, super muddy today. I uh, kind of expected that being here at the mouth of the mouth and all the rivers draining from all this rain. Um, but still gonna hang out. Um, it's nice and calm out here today so we can see if we can't pick up any fish. Uh, loud sitting underneath this thing with that buzzer. Here, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. Nice and loud, but hopefully we'll be able to make make it worth it, get on a few fish, but we'll see. So we'll go back down with an even time here. I'm fishing a little live shrimp right now. Something just snagged my bait from me, so maybe. I can go back down and get them this time. It's a good start. I've almost forgotten what a bite feels like here lately. Game, but I heard got a hot tip that they um, caught a bunch out of here yesterday, so it's just a waiting game, really. I think once the tide switches, starts moving about nine or ten o'clock, so it really, really will kick on. But for now, we just just wait, just wait. Soak live shrimp. Um, different than fishing top waters and stuff. A little, a little more exciting throwing the top water instead of just sitting here waiting, but. Once they turn on, it'll be really fun. That's what I'm looking forward to.
<laughs> oh my god. Oh dude, he's, wait till I hold him up. Look at this dude. Look at that one. That is a freaking hoss and a half right there. First good sheep head from the kayak. From the from the pro angler at least. Only my third sheep head from the kayak ever. God, he is a freaking toad. He swallowed my hook, too. Whew. Glad I bought some new pliers the other day. Holy mess. It was funny because I was, I was pulling out a couple more split shots to get it all the way. And I just kind of reeled it up and felt them. Get out of there. Oh. Ah. Ah. No, get out. Keep a black drum, are you? Okay. Just making sure. This thing, he's so fat, his stomach's about to explode out of his stomach or his freaking butthole. Look at that. Here we go. Alright. Starting to bite. It was just a little tap though, it might not have been. Another sheepy. <laughs> DJ, come, come drop it right off this pole. Like right here. Come, you can come sit over here. There we go. Yes. All right, y'all. There's number two. Not quite as big as that last one was, but he is another good one for sure. 
that's what I'm talking about. All my the hard work, uh, you know, the past few weeks just trying to target these down, finally paying off. Finally getting on some sheep heads. Gonna be number two in my cooler for the day. Finally making something happen. That is what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can't do that again. Crap. I think I might be able to save my hook on this one. Right. Said so I might be able to save my hook on this one. The last two gutted it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Small. This time it's small. <laughs> hey. I was fishing for a trout. That would be. If it was summertime. That'd be about a five pound trout right there. y'all there is number three he's about the same size as that last one maybe a little bit smaller that's freaking fun i have never gotten on sheep head like this before you know before today and yesterday i'd only caught one on line and it was by mistake oh man look at that look at those teeth Choppers in there. Shit moves out there. Got teeth just like a human. It's nuts. Alright, y'all, we're back at the house. Got done finished. Karen, being the wonderful girlfriend she is, she just sprayed off my whole kayak for me. So that's, that's nice. But, uh, Back at the house, just got done catching all those sheephead. It was a turned out to be a great day. You know, I've I've been putting it after these sheephead for a while, as y'all saw the video before. You know, caught that one little one and just really been getting discouraged with these sheephead. Just hadn't been able to make it happen. But um, time finally went out there with TJ today. You know, he kind of had an idea of what he was doing, and we went out there and we keyed into them. Got a ton of them. It was just a great day. Those fiddler crabs just really really made things work so it was a great day of fishing um, yeah you know like always appreciate y'all watching the videos uh, mash that like button if you enjoyed it if you enjoyed you know something besides the redfish and trout something a little different and it was fun to do uh, so if y'all want to see some more of these you know drop a comment below let me know um, and if you're not subscribed up go ahead and mash that subscribe button also but yeah appreciate y'all watching and until uh, next time we will see you later